What is up everyone? Jordan here with another MJRL Hobby Stuff video. Please hit that subscribe button so that you know when it's time to hang out with the boys today. Something super, super special. I got a box today, a mid unboxing from Midwest Hobby and Craft. Please, please, please go to their website, MidwestHobbyandCraft.com so that you can get exactly what's in this box. Drum roll, please. So they at Midwest partnered up with these guys in Canada called Heavy Weapons H Heavy Weapons Systems. Heavy Weapon Systems. HWS. Check out their Instagram so you can see all the stuff they've made. Oh my. So the nice thing about Hobby Hobbycraft Midwest Hobbycraft is they always send these cool little packs with a couple of stickers. Oh man, look at that. Wow. Hobby and Craft Robot with the, the pilot and then the regular air gun that they've got there. Yep. And then uh, some kind of painted spoon is like their, their uh, signature thing. Painted spoon with the thank you. And yes. Okay, this is interesting. Did I order G paint? Hold on. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, this is the stuff in here. Hold on. Let's move that on the side. And this is the stuff here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. Okay. So what this is, Heavy Weapon Systems. Uh, check out their Instagram, Heavy Weapon Systems. They are uh, creating these 1-100 scale resin specialty weapons with hands. And I had, uh, I ordered everything one of everything that Midwest and heavy weapon systems have to offer so let's get into these and I guess he just sent them to me in a box that has the G paint fur on it just because uh, they fit the same size I guess <laughs> all these, look at all these pieces oh it's so beautiful and I guess oh, Shout out to Studio G. Never stop building. I got a couple of stickers in there. Free box. Where do I even start? Man, look at this packaging. So there's a peel tear tear thing. This is the BW006. Crack it open. Did I, oh yeah, it did open it. Okay. Hands. Nice. This is the pair of Uzi um, submachine guns. Nice. Oh, nice half to them. Only one silencer though. That's okay, I guess. Stick that on. Killer! And as you can see, they're all labeled with the HWS engraved on the side. Beautiful stuff. Again, one 100 scale, and they, each pack comes with its a pair of hands that are intended to go with it. Let's check the hands out. Oh yeah, are they? There's a little bit of articulation here. It looks like. I think it's just a separate piece. Yeah, yeah. Small separate piece. Plug that guy back in. Yeah, so both thumbs are detachable. All right, next on the list is the TW009. This looks like some kind of like high powered pistol thing. Maybe like a rail pistol, railgun pistol. Very cool. Oh, that detailing is outstanding. With any resin kit, you're going to have little nubs like that. You're going to want to just go over very gently with some light sanding to just take the, the little scur scurbs off. They're not too bad, actually. I've seen much worse. Next up, we've got the MW001. These are the... This is the sword and sheath broadsword combo. In pieces. 
Oh. Or is it a sword and sheath? Uh, no, it looks like sword optional swords. So you have a fancy sword with holes in it, or a solid sword. So you have the option of creating either or. Very nice. Handle is sick. Focus. Yeah. Nice handle. Beautiful. All right, next up we have the TW005L. This is a pretty standard beam rifle, but looks nice. Looks real nice. Actually, do these inserts have anything on them? Oh! Oh, look at that. Hold on. Hold on. I didn't even look at that. Look at that. These inserts are... Instruction guidelines. Okay. All right. Looking at the TW005L again. Very nice. Very very nice. Yep. Beautiful stuff. High detail. Amazing. All right. All right. All right. Next up, we got the TW005. Another traditional looking beam rifle without the scope, like the last one. And these just feel durable. It feels nice. They, like, they don't feel plasticky, rickety. Ah, nice. Nice. Next up, the BW003 shotgun. By the way, I should be handling these with gloves on. They are resin that they're gonna have little uh, splinters, I guess, in them. But I don't have any gloves, so just deal with the itchiness and move on. <laughs> oh yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool shotgun. Yeah. Let's see these little side side bullet things. Oh, you got a scope. And a couple of bandoliers. Let's try it out. I guess the scope just fits over the tactical rail. Oh yeah, yeah, cool. And these guys look like they just clip into the side slots here. Yep, yep. So if you pick these up and you get these parts, note, note that uh, you can Super glue them. Use standard CA. I think they call it CA super glue to stick the parts on. Um, if you want to paint them separate, feel free and then super glue it together. Next up, we got the TW002. This is a bullpup style rifle, it's like a machine rifle. It includes a silencer. I guess these silencers are can go on either way. Oh. I would say mm, this way. Yeah. Very nice. Bullpup style. Meaning the magazine is way back here. Yeah. Great design. Cocking knob. Sweet. Alright, next up we got the TW008. This is like a like an MP5 inspired look. P5 inspired, clearly, very cool. Yeah. Next up, we got the LW001. This is like a pair of uh, beam beam pistols. I guess you could call them beam pistols. Yeah. Yeah. Identical. Identical. Very nice though. Cool design. Nice camera in front, carrying handle. Little magazine case. Sweet. All right, next up we've got, oh, um, we've got MW003. Okay, wait, uh-oh, uh-oh. Maybe we might have some damage here. Emotional damage. Um, yeah, yeah. But that's okay. You know, resin kits, uh, <clears throat> 
Resin works very, very well, again, with standard super glue. So even though this guy's busted, yep, clean bust, it's fine. It should be fine, just a bit of super glue, and we'll fix that guy right up, no problem. It's okay. Yeah, these are some cool hook, hook machetes. Um, I don't know who I'm gonna add this to, but they're pretty cool. All right, next up, we've got MW002. This is uh, like another sword, optional sword styles. Two, two different blades. And a handle. Awesome handle there. Nice little detailing in that. Yeah. And then two blades. You've got the almost like Efreet style street blade and a slightly curved curved blade there. All right, next up, the BW005, the big boy. Holy moly, this thing is nuts. So this would be like a sniper rifle, quite clearly. Uh, comes with some awesome upgrades. Look at that. Scope and bipods. Sweet. Wow. Big ol' HWS on there. Tactical rail, cocking knob. Shoot, this thing is cool. Finally, we have BC001. I think this is the one that's the uh, Midwest Hobbycraft exclusive pack. And apparently it's selling very, very fast. Here we go. Pair of hands. Just get everything out of there. Oh, cool. Sticker. Oh, yeah. So this actually has two sets of hands. Uh, this is for the dagger holding hands. Looks like. Yep. Comes with this sweet Rambo dagger. That is so cool. Okay. Comes with the same uh, rifle, uh, scope, and bipod set from the previous one. This is a sidearm pistol. And the big boy, 50 cal style sniper rifle. But I guess it goes kind of like that. Ooh, doggy! Look at that beast! Oh man. Jim Sniper's got a new toy to play with. Wait, let's let's put some of that. Let's put this stuff on there, see how it looks. Oh yeah. Oh my! And it looks like. Let's see. Oh, okay, so this is if you want the bipod looking like it's folded up, this is the one you use. And if you're looking at the bipod with it actually holding the rifle up, it's this one. I think like that should be good. You may need just a hair, a little bit of sanding to really get them to s seat nicely. Just, just the lightest touch of sanding. But yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh, that is a killer, killer sniper rifle. So there it is, everybody. Everything that's currently available from Heavy Weapon Systems over at MidwestHobbyAndCraft.com. Go and check them out. Really, really, really great stuff. I am very, very impressed. Um, this is the first part of this series. I'm gonna try my best to paint all of these as quickly as I can and get some uh, final painted and reviewed video up for you guys. All right, this is Jordan. Leave a like, a comment, a subscribe, and a share. 
Uh, go over to MidwestHobbyandCraft.com, tell them I sent you, and you don't get any discount, but, you know, just let them know. All right. Aloha.